Y'all like Life Water? Life Water is my favorite brand of water. I don't care what nobody says. <coughs> and Fiji water is not all that. It's not giving. Mm. Y'all try to act like Fiji water is hitting on something. But just because it's in a blue cap, it ain't all that. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Controversial opinion. Hot take. Hot take. Fiji water ain't all that. <coughs> I said what I said. At me. I think I had lip gloss on when I drank that water. Okay, we ready. Come on, one take, one take. Oh, that was good! <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Vinia McHale. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Today is what I'm going to call a very random unboxing. I have a lot of miscellaneous items from a lot of different places, and I didn't have enough of those to call it, like, a haul. I ordered like one thing from this person, one thing, two from here. So we're going to combine it together and do one big unboxing of a lot of different things. Um, I also have some subscriber mail I'm going to open as well. Shout out to Brittany. Thank you so much. I don't even know what it is, but I love it already. Thank you. Before we get into that, you know I have to thank my subscribers. We have been on a journey. Okay. A Mecca. We have just done a triathlon. Is that when you do a lot of marathon? Whatever the highest number of running athletic stuff that you can do, that's what we just did. Okay? We are on the last leg, the last stretch, the home stretch, and baby. Y'all been P.O.P. holding it down, okay? Y'all have put it to the, I have put it to the ultimate test, and y'all have came through every single day, every single time, and I just have to say, every time that I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, I'm grateful, I'm ashy, because I just washed my hands, but that always happens. <laughs> <coughs> and I just love y'all so much, and y'all have just genuinely been, like, holding it down, so supportive, so encouraging, so loving, I truly have the best subscribers in the entire world, hands down. Um, also, you know, my discount code, Fragging Body Oils, is on the screen. Um, listen, if you can't find out about perfume oils from my channel, then you just can't find out about perfume oils. If you don't know what to buy from Fragging Body Oils based off watching my videos, then you just, it's not, it's, I hate to say it's no hope, but I'm also going to say it's probably no hope. <laughs> like, this is the central hub for all things perfume oils, Fragging Body Oils. It's, it's a time. So my code is on the screen. Use my code before it is too late. Now, let's open. So, Brittany, one of my amazing subscribers, she sent me some stuff. And we're going to open it together. Thank you, Brittany, so much. <clears throat> oh, she put, there's a card in here. Oh, it says happy birthday. It's a happy birthday card. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's so nice. I'm not. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. That's going to make me cry, Brittany. You did not have to do this. This was so freaking nice. She put some very thoughtful and encouraging words in here and some funny words in here. And she gave me a gift card. That was literally so nice of you. I cannot believe. <sighs> that was so nice. Oh, my freaking goodness. I ain't gonna cry on the camera because I don't cry, but <sighs> okay, now let me see what you done put in here. You wrapped the heck out of this stuff. Oh, I think there's a lot of stuff in here. Hold on. Hold on. Um, I do have a P.O. box. Um, and I'm not saying this that for you to feel like anybody feel like they have to send me anything, please no. Um, but people have asked before when my, uh, if I have a P.O. box, and I do have it, so I'll put it under this video. I'm nervous. There's a lot of stuff in here. How you open this? Oh, she sent me a bunch of samples. What is this? Brittany, do you make this? What is this? I got questions. This is Endless Glow Skincare Cotton Candy. 
strawberry short nose so I, I think these are different brands and companies for me to try this is so cool but let me know if this is your brand or if this is just miscellaneous brands that um, you wanted me to smell so this is endless glow um, so this is by the yeah, endless glow skincare nose food frag shop uh, pink sugar red velvet I think that's okay so it's just different places fruity pebble okay it's a lot of them in here marshmallow fluff this is exciting uh, like it, this is all things to me first of all you took your time to put this together like they're all individually wrapped in everything this is so powder donut ooh what's that hitting on Body Fantasies Cupcakes. So this is a lot of samples for me to try. And I will try every single one of them and give updates and thoughts. On every single one. How ex stinking exciting. Where'd you get these from? These is really nice. Are these refillable? Can I buy these and then put my perfumes in to travel? Let me know. Okay, so that's one of them. Oh, there's a lot in here. Oh my goodness. It's a whole nother one in here. Let me see what else is in here. Oh, some more samples. Ooh! Orientica Amber Rouge. Hold on, show. My camera, I'm so sorry. Um, ooh, Estee Lauder Bra. Girl, you sent me a lot of... This is all content. Girl, I got my content for the next... Um, Three months. What this is? Hundred Silent Ways. Okay. Um, uh, gourmand. How'd you know what to smell this? Escapade Gourmand. Oh my God! I don't even gotta get no sample. Okay, is this from Dapper Fragrances? Uh, somebody was telling me, I've seen some of their stuff and I wanted to try some of their stuff. But you done sent the Dapper, five, I think this must be their version of 540. First of all, you hand wrapped every single one of these. You're putting these businesses to shame. Dapper Fragrances Lyra, okay. These are literally all good samples and all things that I want to smell. How did you know? How do you say this? I know that's the new perfumes, the Molly Valaya. Valaya. Um, that's the new one that just came out. Girl, you got everything. Uh, Squirts BR540. Is that another brand? I'm so intrigued. Y'all just gonna have to watch this. Uh, watch me open this. I'm so sorry. Killian Love. Don't be shy. Okay. Okay. Cause we know. We know. I'm. I'm still figuring it out. But now I can try it. I don't got to buy the full the set. Come through. Uh, I am so overwhelmed right now. I don't know if I'm true if it's reflecting. But I am like. Okay. Dapper Fragrances version of Escapade Gourmand. Okay. You literally have just given me so much content for free. Like what? Oh this is the fancy one. Electimus Trajan. Trajan. I've heard of this one. I never even tried. Looked it up because they so expensive. Hold on. Alexandria Fragrances Chocolate Dream. Dupe for Lyra. Oh. You made these labels too, didn't you? Girl, how long did it take you to put this together? How long? Montel Chocolate Greedy. This is literally all things that I've wanted to smell before. And now I don't have to blind buy the full thing. Dapper Fragrances is Sixty Two, and Dramatis Moon Sixty Two. I think we got one more. Wait, I think there's a note in here. Oh, uh, all the questions I have, she wrote a, something out and answered all the questions. Oh my gosh, I, so nice. I literally like. Oh my gosh. Um, she sent me. I'm not going to open the rest on here because I would literally be on camera the rest of the day. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is the one she said if it's wrapped in plastic, it's because it's so, so strong. Okay. 
I'm going to spend the rest of my night opening each and every one of these. Um, she was, first of all, just again, like, first of all, people don't have to be nice. People don't have to be kind. People don't have to do anything for you. So anytime someone does, I always am grateful and appreciative. I never take anything for granted. This was so nice and so overwhelming. Like, I was truly not. She did tell me she was going to send me something. I was not expecting it to be on this magnitude. And she included something for my birthday. Like, ah. Uh, did I just say I had the best subscribers in the whole world? And then she literally just proved it. That was, I don't even need to open nothing else I was going to open. Oh my God. How do I, how do I go to the next thing? Whatever I go to is, it's, it's trash in comparison to that. So nice. Wow. So incredibly nice. And y'all, please don't feel the need to send me anything. Like, I'm, I promise. I am not that person. I'm not that way. Y'all being here, engaging, commenting, is what I need. <clears throat> so please don't feel any type of way. Okay. I'm going to try to move on. So this is from a brand called Lalicious. And, um... <clears throat> I recently found, I think I found it when I was recovering from my wisdom tooth um, extraction. I found a podcast called On That Note Podcast. And it's um, a fragrance podcast on YouTube. And I was, I wanted to say I was their 1,000th subscriber, but I wasn't. I was their 999th subscriber. Anyway, they talked about a lot of things. But in particular, one of the girls was talking about this body oil or something from this brand called Lalicious. And so I was like, I want to try it. So I think I only got like one or two things. Okay, I think I got two things. Yeah, so let's just open this really quickly and show you what I got. Okay, so what I wanted was the body oil. I only got it in a smaller size to see if I like it. I got the uh, a one ounce, okay? So this is what it looks like. I don't think you can really see with the reflection, but that's what it looks like. It looks very bougie and upscale, so that's exciting. And this is what it looks like. Uh, I've had this sitting for a little minute. I wonder, is it? Oh, and it's got like a little pump, and you pump it out. Well, since I'm ashy now, let's put some on. The consistency looks a little strange in here. Let's change the battery. Okay. So... I was saying the consistency on the inside looks a little strange, but I think there's some directions. Let me read them. Oh, it said, so there's coconut oil in here and it says it's room temperature sensitive, so it will soften in warmer temperatures and solidify in cooler temperatures. Please be assured that a change in consistency does not affect the quality store at room temperature. Well, we just going to try this. Okay. So a little pump came out. Oh, okay. Oh, it you know what? It smells very much like coconut oil. It smells like coconut, like the hair grease type of thing. Um, nothing extraordinary with the smell, but it does feel good. <clears throat> you know, a nice little shine. Um... As of right now, the scent is very light. So it's definitely not something you buy for the scent. I bought it to um, to have like a really good quality, um, more expensive body oil. So it's yet to be determined if this is something that I would recommend you go out to buy. I think this was a little on the pricey side. So I'll have to use it some more first to really see if I think that this is something that I would recommend you buy. I like it because it looks bougie and it looks nice, but I'm not seeing anything as of yet that makes me say this is like a necessary buy. You need to go out of your way and buy online from this brand. I also got a mini hydrating body butter in the scent birthday cake. This is what it looks like. I don't know if that's clear or not. Um, shimmery pink hydrating body butter. Okay, it is sealed, so that's a good. Ooh, it's double sealed. I can't even get in this mug. This is what it looks like. 
Okay. Um, not anything, um, the smell is very basic. This is what the consistency is looking like. Um, oh, it looked good though. I will give it that. The smell is very basic. Um, nothing to write home about. Yeah, not super fragrant at all. Again, I do look good though. The arm do got a little sheen to it. I ain't gonna hold you. And that is really why <clears throat> I tried this brand. It's for the um for the moisturization. So I will experiment with that a little bit more to see if it's something that I feel like I would recommend. Again, I think this one was more on the pricey side. So um if I'm gonna re be recommending something, it's because they gave me a sample of the same thing I already ordered. Delicious birthday cake moisturizing body butter moisturizing shimmer, but I just bought that so I don't know why they would give me a sample of that um, But yeah, that's all I got from them um, The jury is still out on if this is a necessity purchase. Oh, you're supposed to run the bottle under hot water until it completely liquefies Because that's why I was like the inside looks funny, but it's because it's that coconut oil in there But the, that is a good sign because it means they're literally using natural products so that is a good sign. So that is delicious. Okay, next we've got, I don't know if y'all knew or know about, that's so cute, it says Sunday approved. So Sunday is this little baby that went viral on TikTok for smelling candles in the store with her parents and saying yes or no. Literally, that is it. But when I say this baby was spot on though, her opinions like <clears throat> she actually had very good taste because she would smell some candles that I've smelled before and she'll be like the one she said no to I said no to and the one she would say yes to I said yes to I said oh this baby got good taste and she would just be like no no yes and so it went viral like blew up and then she she ended up getting a, a candle with this brand Jackson Vaughn and um, I thought that was so cool. I mean, this, when I say a baby, I mean, I don't even know if she's two yet. I don't even know if she was two when this all happened. So, she ended up getting a candle. And I bought it and I decided I wanted to smell it. Um, this was literally months ago. Um, it's just been sitting here. So, we're going to open it together. Oh, this is so cute. They took a picture of her. And if you've seen Sunday, this is clearly a silhouette of Sunday. Um, and it's called it's Sunday's Best and then on the back it's got like I think what the notes are so Sunday's Best come quat patchouli in sandalwood enjoy an afternoon in the park with Sunday a fresh scent of a sunny day with notes of ripe come quat earthy patchouli and warm sandalwood this <clears throat> the packaging is extremely cute the notes on this are incredibly elevated for a little baby but I'm telling you, this baby had excellent taste. I'm actually very nervous. I did read the notes before I got it, and I was just like, I don't think I'm going to like this candle. But I just wanted to support because, I mean, the baby is precious. Precious. Um, and what baby gets a candle deal? Like, what? So, <clears throat> let's smell it together. What size is this? I think it's a, it's a nine and a half ounce. I don't remember how much I paid for this. So it was that long ago. Um, and no lid on it, which is a little strange to me, but okay. And then it's just her silhouette. Uh, let's smell. Oh, this smells really good. Not nearly as offensive as I thought it was going to be. Is this something I've never smelled before? No. But I mean, it's a nice candle. It kind of, it smells like something I've smelled before, like Hobby Lobby or something. Like, it's definitely not like an original scent, but... It smells nice. I'm interested to see how well the performance is and why it doesn't have a lid. That's a little strange. But it actually smells nice. I'm happy to have it. Um, I hope it does well. I hope it burns um, well and has a pretty good throw. But yeah. Okay, Sunday. Good job. Okay, so I got a couple of things from Goddess of the Sea Beauty when they dropped their um, 
when they started doing perfume oils I bought I think like three or four I think it was during their the last little bit of their summer collection so um, I bought a couple from them so let's open it together and I'm just gonna say I appreciate that their perfume oils are affordable there's another company, small loan company recently that just started doing perfume oils and they're like $23 or $24. Not for the perfume oils, okay? Theirs were very affordable. I don't remember how much they were, but I know they were less than $10. Thank you. So this is Passion Fruit Guava. Now why that come right up in the other ones though? Standard size, 10 milliliters. Came, it came out really good. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no, that's a time. That is, and you know what the thing is? <clears throat> I've noticed with a lot of body care brands that don't specialize in perfume oils, when they start doing perfume oils, they don't put enough fragrance in it. They have too much oil, not enough fragrance, and then also whatever rollerball brand or whatever they pick doesn't release enough product. I've been noticing that a lot with a couple other body care brands that I've tried. I'm like, no, you need more fragrance in this. Perfume oils are supposed to be concentrated and you don't have enough fragrance. This thing? Woo! This thing seems like it's going to be potent. Okay, guys, so to see. All right. Oh, this is my baby right here. I didn't know what this one is. I remember this one. This is pineapple berry. Okay. Give this a snifferoo. I'm not doing a good job of showing up how well it, how much, how well these are coming out, but they're coming out very well. Ooh. This one is strong. I'm scared of this one. Woo. This might be beast mode. I will say, I don't think this one smells exactly like the Pineapple Berry Body Oil. I think the Pineapple Berry Body Oil, that cherry was like blended a little bit better and it was more like an undertone. This is very cherry forward. But I'm going to give them a little grace. This is their first time that I know of, of them doing perfume oil. So they're probably still tinkering with the blend and how to get a different product that still have the same type of smell. But that would be my only note for this. This seems incredibly cherry forward or whatever that I think it was cherry that was in there or berry whatever it is that's at the top and it's not as bl blended as well as the other body care in the same scent that is my only note for that one okay this is watermelon all right let me see if I can show y'all see that how well that came out and I didn't do a lot so that's good they got a good rollerball it smells good I think I like the body care a little bit better in the watermelon, but it still smells good. Right now, my favorite is that passion fruit and guava. Right now, that thing is a time. Okay, and the last one I got is Poetic Jasmine. Okay. Ooh. No, 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 no. First of all, this is this. I know this is the same one when I smelled the body care. I said it reminds me of something, and I can't think of what it is. This smells exactly like something else, and it drives me crazy because I don't know what it is. But it smells good, and this ooh, it's something from Bath and Body Works, some body care or something. But this smells exactly like, and it's driving me crazy. But it smells good, and this isn't. This one smells exactly like the body care. It's good, and it smells like it's gonna be a time. Yeah, that's good. So overall, I think um, it's a that's a success. Oh, that passion fruit and guava! I'm telling you, that got some money. I think all of these scents is too late for this. I think they switched over to their fall at this point. But <clears throat> their perfume oils are doing a really good job. They're doing an incredible job. And like I said, I'm giving them um, not that they need my grace, but I'm giving them a little grace because I'm pretty sure this is their first time doing perfume oils, and there is a a method to the madness when it comes to perfume oils so they're probably still tinkering with it and figuring that part out but 10 out of 10 no regrets yeah I think I only got two um so this is I bought this a while ago too and I just never opened it 
This is DKNYB Delicious. I found it on a really good deal. Um, I've had a one ounce of this. I finished that. I think I got another like travel size left. At this point, it's too late for this. This is the season has passed for this, but I bought it. So, um, yeah, this is 3.4 ounce. Very good fresh apple spring summer scent. Um, so I won't get any use out of it this year, but that's all it was. I, they still sell this at like Macy's and stuff, but I think they want like $100 for this or something. And I'm like, there's no way I'm giving you $100 for DKNYB Delicious. You know how old this perfume is? I'm not giving y'all that. I think I paid, I don't know, maybe $50. I don't even know. I don't even know if I paid that much. But that's the little nozzle on top and then that's it. So yeah, this will just go. Oh, it smells so good though. It smells so good though. And then last, I think this is everything. <clears throat> this is Mont Blanc Signature Absolute. I got it in the tester so it's a little bit cheaper. I'm not going to open it and smell it now. I'll do a separate video. Uh, you may be saying, ain't Mont Blanc Signature in your... um project use it up why you buy absolute if you don't even know if you like the you don't even care for the original mm. <laughs> I don't know I seen it and it intrigued me I wanted it so I got it um, I can't even open it show you what it looks like so completely opposite almost of the, I mean it's basically it's the same thing Except for this one is transparent and the other one is white and it's opaque. That's the only difference. But I'm not going to smell it now. We're going to do a separate video and we'll smell that one. Y'all, I'm smelling. I'm, as I went by my hand, I could smell that poetic jasmine. That means y'all did a good job. If I don't put my nose up to it, just be moving my hand around, I could smell it. That means you did a good job. So that's everything I think that I wanted to show in my very random unboxing I was waiting actually on one more thing, but I don't think it's going to get here in time. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to do it because I only got two things. So I don't know. If, I'll, if I feel like I need to dedicate a full video to just those two products. But anyway, drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Brittany, again, thank you. Thank you so much. I literally have to. I'm going to go after this and just spend time reading everything that you wrote again and everything you typed. I mean, the girl, you typed it up. You wrapped everything. I mean, like, just the attention to detail, the dedication, the time, the commitment, and the, the, the birthday card, like, everything. I am just completely overwhelmed. That was just so nice. So incredibly nice. So incredibly grateful. I love you all. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank y'all for holding it down, for sticking with me, for sticking. I know it's been a lot. I know it's been a lot. A couple people have been like, girl, I'm trying to keep up. Listen, I jump in where you can. I, I understand that this is a lot. It may take you a couple of months to finally catch up. That's fine. I, I get it. But uh, I love you all genuinely. I love each and every single one of you. I appreciate you all. I love you so much. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.